I'm Deborah Kanfer. Um, I'm a photographic artist. My work is all created through analog uh, black and white photography, so I use the darkroom to create all of my pieces. I create personalized artworks for people. I reinvent nostalgic memories through visual art. It all started when I was given a point and shoot um, just to play around with. I was at home in South Africa, where I'm from, and I remember just being super snap happy. And um, back then, it wasn't necessarily about the immediate result, but it was more the action of snapping this photograph and capturing time. When it really hit me that this was what I needed to do was um, in university when I was studying. I was introduced to analog photography and I couldn't give it up. My great uncle had his studio set up in South Africa. You know, he was fresh off the boat, um, set up shop. That's basically what got me into my style of photography is exploring these old negatives um, that he left us. And I recently rebranded to mimic his stamp. It's like a regular sort of script style writing stamp, but the fact is, it's almost like I'm his legacy. He lives in what I do. For now, I'm just obviously using it on my website, my business cards, it's kind of just my, my logo. But eventually I will be incorporating it within select artworks, for sure. My family has been an incredible support system since day one. I've had an incredible experience with them. They've seen me at my worst and uh, <laughs> They're always the first ones to, you know, to say like, don't give up, you gotta keep doing this. If I hadn't had that kind of support, um, who knows where I would have been. Take the time to really get to know your creative side. If you love it, your body will not allow you to not put in the patience and the time. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. My ultimate, ultimate dream is to eventually have my own gallery space. When a client or someone that's interested in my work comes to me and says that they want me to create a customized piece for them. Basically, I'll arrange a meeting with them to come into the studio, tell them to bring in items that remind them of a particular thing that they want to capture. I've experienced um, creating customized artworks from another person saying, I want you to capture this essence of the city. Another one was actually someone that sent me a, a photograph and they said, can you create an artwork from this image? In my studio, I've actually set up a section where it mimics a living interior. So the wall has been curated in such a way that would possibly appear within a home or an office space. And so I'm actually offering that to clients as well, where they can choose a select few images, and whether it's customized or ready-made, and they will be framed, and I will actually come in and curate those few artworks within the interior and on the wall um, as a salon-style installment. So it's just really lovely to give this to people. It's more meaningful for them because there's a piece of them inside as well. It's not necessarily anything in particular that I'm searching for when I create my artworks, it's things that are revealed after the fact. I can always have an idea, but the end result is always different. You don't know how it's going to take form. It kind of manifests or creates a final form of its own. My view on my particular style of art is that it adds various dimensions, whether it's multiple exposures or it's a layering of multiple montages and mixed media. A lot of people have said to me that my work kind of jumps out at you, it's not a two-dimensional piece. Montage in itself is very effective. I think montaging with photographs creates a totally different dimension. It's creating a new reality for people to experience.